Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I would like to welcome you into the kitchen with me on this evening where we're going to have a little fun with this beautiful squash known as acorn squash. Now, originated in Central America, worked its way up through America through Mexico up into the Americas. Another wonderful food that we can be thankful to the Native Americans for because they grew these and they are delicious. This time I'm going to do a simple baked sweet acorn squash recipe. Now, you can decide how sweet you want it or what your ingredients are that you use. So, I have my, I have the oven preheated to 375. And we're going to get busy cleaning this acorn squash. So, you, I know there's a lot of people that know how to cook them, but there's a lot of people who don't. And this is an amazing, amazing, a lot of people consider it a winter squash, but believe it or not, it's in the zucchini, uh, crookneck, or yellow squash family. So it actually can be a summer squash as well. So let's get busy. All right, I'm only going to do uh, two of them for now. Because that's one good big half a piece for us. So, good, sharp, strong knife. These can be tough. You're going to either have to woman handle it or man handle it. Now, I am a firm believer of letting nothing go to waste. So, take your spoon. Just like you would if you're going to clean out a pumpkin. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Now, be forewarned. The minute you cut one of these open, there will be magically a gnat or a fly try to appear. And it's just part of life. Now, I have... A casserole dish that I'm going to be setting them in. Look how many seeds that only one half of an acorn squash gives you. If you just eat one acorn squash a year, you're set for seeds for two, three years or better. Well, way more than that. But if you know where your acorn squash comes from, and I know these are locally grown, you can save the seeds from them. Now you can also save the seeds from store-bought ones. I would do the organic ones, of course, if you can, and make sure that they don't come from a foreign country, so the seeds are not irradiated. All right, look at that. See all those beautiful seeds that come from just one, one acorn squash. Now, of course, later on I'll show you how to 
separate these seeds because you gotta separate them from all this stringy pulp. Alright, I'm gonna do the second one and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, I got the two acorn squash cleaned out. Look at those seeds. Is that not beautiful? Life can continue on when you save seeds. Now, cleaning out butternut squash, acorn squash, pumpkins, whatever. I will tell you, don't let people fool you. You need this special gadget. You need this special gadget. No. The only thing you need is a good, strong spoon. See? See how clean that is? That's what you want. You want to see the orange flesh. You get all the stringy out and you leave the orange flesh. All I used was a spoon. That's all you need to use. That's what the ancestors used to. Okay. Now comes the fun part, y'all. Seasoning of the acorn squash. Now, like I said, you can season them however sweet you want them. If you want them a little more sweet, a little less sweet, you can do them savory if you want. Squashes are very, very easy to work with. You can do them sweet or you can do them savory. If you wanted to. Now I'm telling you, you've got to have a good peeler to peel. Of course, you you know, cut them in wedges. Use a good peeler or a paring knife, as long as you know how to use your paring knife correctly. Cube it up, and you can cook it just like I did the, uh, what is it, Mennonite or Amish, one of the two, banana squash. Use it savory. You can also cut it up, make it into soup. Okay, now, you're going to need some butter. Leave that in a bowl separate. I have some. Of course, I use Domino because they are still GMO free. Not many sugar cane companies can claim that. And your El Cheapo, cheap, cheap sugar, y'all, that's sugar beet sugar. And pretty much all the sugar beets used on the market is GMO. All right, now this is just cinnamon. I like a little more cinnamon in the sugar. And you're just gonna you can use a whisk you can use your hands just believe me your hands are gonna get messy all right let me go get me a paper towel okay got me some paper towels now you're gonna want to take a little bit of your sugar cinnamon mix Paste it. I got too small. That's perfect. That's a perfect mixture for cinnamon sugar. Now, you're going to take, take one half of your acorn squash. Cradle, cradle your fingers in the rib so it doesn't slide away. Use real butter y'all and we're going to do the butter first I said butter and Jaina comes running love Jaina to death but man that dog is a butter addict and a cheese addict, let me tell you. 
<laughs> looked at me and took off because she knew I was talking about her. Butter it really good. Just the inside. Don't butter the shell. You see, it's just simple. Just take your time and you can do this. Okay. Okay, now. You want to sprinkle really good. Like I said, it's best to pick them up, cradle them. Oh, she's back. She knows I'm cooking in the kitchen. Go on, Shana. It's okay, baby. And of course, you can put less. If you want to. Let's see. I love that they have ridges. Because believe me. Sometimes this can get slippery. Well, make sure you don't miss any spots <laughs> got butter on me apparently I'm buttering myself up uh oh have to be careful And you do just, you do each half. Or if you don't like the cinnamon, you can just do the brown sugar. If you don't like the brown sugar, you can do, um, rub them with the butter, bake them. Well, need to add just a tad bit of salt to them. Uh, bake them, and then when they're done baking, drizzle honey on top. Okay. And I'm just going to put just a little bit. It sounds like there's more, but it's not. And the last thing I'm going to do, nutmeg, y'all, nutmeg. I'm going to grate. There's one of them. Let's see. I love fresh nutmeg. And I am so happy I caught this nutmeg. Oh, oh, it smells so good on oh, clearance. And I have, I will have nutmeg for the rest of my life, let me tell you. Right, I'm just going to, you don't want to go too wild because nutmeg can and will overpower. All right, now I'm going to put, you can or you don't have to, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of water in the bottom of the dish 
and I'm going to put it in the oven and the oven is preheated at 375 and it's going to cook depending on how big your acorn squash is and how many you are cooking. It can take anywhere from 45 to 55 minutes. The easiest way to know, and it's not by going by time, it's by taking um, a fork and if your acorn squash is extremely fork tender, that baby's done. I, I will bring you back as soon as these are done baking in the oven. I'll see you back here after a while. Look at that, y'all. They are done. I cooked them at 375, and it took 50 minutes. Like I said, I'm going to add just a little more pizzazz to them. I got some of that beautiful Tennessee sourwood honey, which is not uber sweet, but... You want to drizzle it around and get it all in there. And like I said, if you wanted to just use honey, I would wait. I would rub them with the butter and then just bake them and then do the honey at the end. Or like I said, you can do them savory. Rub them with butter. And if you wanted to, sprinkle them with curry powder. Or whatever seasoning you want for savory. Look at that. I love sour wood honey. Alright, I'll bring you back when mine cools down and we're going to taste it together. Okay, I think the little liquid lava has cooled down. But look at that. Is that not beautiful? Now, I'm going to be very careful what you want to do. For those who've never had acorn squash, is you scoop around the rind, get you a little spoonful of it, let it get into the syrup, and now we enjoy. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, my gracious, yes. I absolutely love acorn squash. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. What's oh, so hot? Absolutely delicious. Not over sweet as you would think it would be. And of course you need some coffee. I'm going to finish this amazing little blessing. I had dinner. This is dessert. And you can have it along with dinner. I just ate dinner early. Simple, easy, very few ingredients, acorn squash, butter, light brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Though a little pinch of salt helps to brighten the sweetness and the cinnamon and everything. 
it helps blend the flavors. If you don't want it sweet, make it savory. Or just rub it with butter. Put just a tad bit of good salt on there. And bake it in the oven and enjoy it like it is. It is a true treasure to have. And I am thankful. Very thankful the ancestors grew these. I hope this video encourages you to also try cooking your own acorn squash. As you saw, it's not hard. Now I've got to, you know, clean the seeds up, which I'll bring y'all along for that. Simple, easy, homemade. And you know what goes on or in your acorn squash. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Remember to stock your pantries with foods that will sustain and nourish you and season your foods because nobody should eat bland food. Continue to stock up your medicines that will heal you, protection of all kinds, and the bare essentials. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound in this crazy world. And may you each be blessed. Hoot, hoot. Y'all take care.